All right, good morning. Welcome to the Committee on Land Use. I am Council Member Rafael Salamanca, Chair of this Committee. I would like to welcome my esteemed colleagues who are members of the Committee and are present today. We have Council Member Landers, Carlina Rivera, Chair Moya, um, Council Member Richie Torres, Council Member uh, Diaz, uh, Council Member Cool, Chair Adams, Council Member Vanessa Gibson, uh, Council Member Constantinides, Council Member Reynoso, Council Member Gredenchik, and Council Member Andy King. Today we'll be voting on projects referred out of our zoning and planning subcommittees. From our zoning subcommittee, we'll be voting to approve LUs 359, an application for Tessa Bull LLC for a revocable consent for the renewal of an unenclosed sidewalk cafe located at 250 Park Avenue South in Manhattan in Councilmember Rivera's district. The applicant has agreed to reduce the size of the cafe and to other qualities of light commitment, and consequently, Councilmember Rivera is in support. We will also be filing LUs 376, an application for a tax exemption pursuant to Article 11 of the Private Housing Finance Law. This application application has been withdrawn by HPD from the package of related applications for the Blondell Commons rezoning. From our planning subcommittees, we will be voting to approve LUs 347 Cooper Square MHA Phase 1 for property in districts of Council Members Chin and Rivera in Manhattan. This property includes 21 limited equity co-op buildings totaling 327 units and 22 commercial spaces, spaces which sit on a community land trust. The Cooper Square Mutual Housing Association is, re is renovating these buildings in a multi-phase project through HPD's Greenhouse Preservation Program. The renovations will include capital improvements as well as energy efficiency, water conservation upgrades. To facilitate this renovation work, HPD is seeking the termination of the prior tax exemption and a new 40-year tax exemption pursuant to Article 11 of the Private Housing Finance Law. Council members Chen and Rivera are supportive of this project. We will vote to approve two projects, which we heard together, LUs 357 for 332 Eldert Street in Councilmember Espinal's district, and LU 358 for 63 Stockholm Streets in Councilmember Reynoso's district, both in Brooklyn. For both projects, HPD is seeking UDAP project approval. For LUs 358, disposition approval is also sought. These approvals will facilitate the development of a new building with four units of affordable housing at 332 Elder Street and the development of a new building with 20 units of affordable housing at 63 Stockholm Street. Both projects, which will be developed on a vacant city-owned lot land, will serve a range of incomes from 30 to 80 percent of the AMI and include a 10 percent set aside for the formerly homeless. Council Member Reynoso and Espinal are supportive of these projects. Finally, we will vote to approve LUs 366 for property at 167 West 133rd Street in Councilmember Perkins District in Manhattan. HPD is seeking determination of the prior tax exemption for this site and a new 40-year tax exemption pursuant to Article 11 of the Private Housing Finance Law. The building, a 15-unit low-income co-op, was carved out of the most recent round of third-party transfer programs. The 40-year tax exemption will be re retroactive for eight years. The current HDFC will retain only ownership for this building and council member Perkins is in support of this application. Are there any questions or remarks from members of the committee? All right, seeing none, I will call a vote in accordance with recommendations of the local council members and the subcommittees to approve LUs 347, 357, 358, 359, and 366 and to file LUs 376, which was withdrawn. Will the clerk please call the roll? William Martin, Committee Clerk, Roll Call Vote Committee on Land Use, Chair Salamanca. Aye, no. Lanceman. Aye. Gibson. I vote aye. Constantinidis. Aye. Deutsch. Aye. King. Ku. Aye. Reynoso. Permission to explain my vote? Council Member Reynoso to explain his vote. I just want to um, note that at the hearing in the subcommittee, uh, we talked about having 15% set aside for supportive housing. Um, it was at 10%, and I want to get it to 15. We're having discussions with uh, HPD to secure that. Uh, I just want to make sure that I, I follow the model of Chair Salamanca in the Bronx um, and getting 15% in. It's not officially on paper here, but we are discussing with HPD and we're fighting hard to get to that 15%. So I just wanted to make sure I acknowledge that uh, and I vote aye. Thank you, Council Member Reynoso. Kalos. Aye. Richards. Torres. I vote aye. 
Kordenchik. All right. Hi. Good answer. Adams. I vote aye. Diaz. Aye. Moya. Aye. Rivera. Permission to explain my vote? Councilman Rivera to explain her vote. I just want to thank everyone for their support. I know that uh, Councilmember Kalos had read my testimony in, for the, into the record for these buildings, which are a part of a community land trust, which you all know I'm a big supporter of and hope that we can expand support um, from this council. These are affordable home ownership opportunities with truly affordable maintenance fees. And I just want to thank you all for your support and proudly vote aye. King. Aye. We have a vote of 15 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. I would like to thank members of the public, my colleagues, council and land use staff for attending today's hearing. We will leave the roll open for 10 minutes. Council member Richards. I vote aye. 